Animals that most definitely exist, but I refuse to acknowledge their existence based on principle. Number one. Oh my god. That's not real. That's not, that's a goofy goober. That's not a real animal. The Tibetan sand fox looks like it, you just told it a bad joke. It looks like it's really upset with you. It looks so unnaturally natural. It looks like it's bad taxidermy, but it's still alive. It looks like it knows how to talk, but it only does it when you're not around. The potu bird or the patu bird, I don't know. That's a problem. That's a problem. If I woke up in the middle of the night and I saw this thing looking at me through the window, I would head down to the nearest rope store. That's as much as I can say on, on this app. Hey Tucker, how come you don't let your feet touch the bottom of the ocean when you go swimming in it? Oh, maybe because the hairy frogfish continues to taunt me with his existence. Oh my God, I can't imagine stepping on that. I'd cry, I'd cry immediately. I'm not gonna claim I know how God made animals, but when he was doing the fish, he really was running out of concepts. Just put more spikes on it. Just more spikes. It's gotta be different somehow. So just make it a hideous being.